G'day guys, how you going? So Simon here from Jimmer at Brewing Co. And today I'm going to give you a very brief uh, chat about our awesome, great engineering labeler and also our Epson printer that we use in combination with it. This thing is probably the most uh, overworked piece of equipment in the brewery. We, um, been using it for a couple of years now and it's been fantastic. Uh, we use it for both bulk labeling and small batch runs of our studies. Uh, we do quite a few limited, limited edition runs uh, and the, the Epson printer is fantastic for that, for just doing small runs. We even do small runs down to just a few cards of beer for bucks weekends and weddings and really special occasions like that. Um, and we also do bulk runs of 10 or 20,000 studies at a time. Give you a quick demo. So this is a batch of beer, our uh, peaches and cream new season that we do. As you can see, we've already pre-printed these labels, but we could do it on demand if we had to. That is there. As you can see, we're using the re-roller, which is a really fantastic extra. Um, I probably wouldn't, wouldn't get it without getting that. It's a little bit of gets worth its weight in gold. And obviously the optional um, pedal trigger is, is really good too, especially when you're doing a lot of runs. Um, you know, the, it's just a lot easier ergonomically for you to, to use it repetitively. This is at the brewery now guys, going to quickly demonstrate the on-demand label printing facility that the uh, Epson has. So the most important part of this process is probably the little trigger mechanism here, which you can obviously preset to how many labels you want to do at a time. Uh, we've got it set to 20, so what it will do is it will it'll print off 20 for you, then it will sense when you're getting low and it will print more for you so you don't, um, you're only printing what you need to use. So I'll quickly show you now, we're just going to print off a few uh, few labels for our Bad Mofo IPA. So we'll run a few through, give you an idea how it works. Sorry about the state of the machine as far as cleanliness goes, this thing as I mentioned before absolutely cops it, uh, gets sprayed with all manner of schmucks. Sorry about the uh, squeaky roller there guys, that's uh, probably going to do some oil on that. Come on mate, it's been like four years and never that's, been serviced. That's not the printer's fault, that's our fault.